What's going on guys? This is Drew with Mark's Appliance and today we're going to be looking at Speed Queen's lineup of top loading laundry. We're going to be looking at uh, the history of the brand of Speed Queen for a little bit, the TR7, TR5 and TR3 models as well as the TC5 model. Uh, we're going to be talking about the different kinds of benefits that each model brings to the table, how they stack up against competing brands and the different kind of wash actions. Uh, that they use to clean your clothes. So if you've never heard of Speed Queen, if, you, if you've thought about getting a Speed Queen, uh, this model or this video should be uh, pretty good for you. So let's get to it. So if you haven't heard of Speed Queen before, uh, they're owned by Alliance Laundry Systems and they've been based up in Ripon, Wisconsin for over 110 years and that's still where they do core pro all core product uh, manufacturing. Uh, Alliance is the largest uh, manufacturer of commercial laundry systems uh, in the entire world. So even though uh, all Speed Queens are you know residential units, um, they're built with commercial roots, true grade commercial parts, uh, to get the job done. So potentially the reason if you haven't heard for, of Speed Queen is they're only available at independent retailers. So, uh, you know, you won't see them in any big box stores. Um, and speaking to their commercial grade quality, uh, they're built to do over 25 years worth of laundry. So they break that out by the average consumer does eight loads of laundry a week and these are designed to last 10,400 loads. So over time, 25 years. So, um, you know, that's what you're gonna be getting in a Speed Queen. And next we're gonna be taking a look at uh, each model and we're gonna start with the TR3. So we've got the TR3 machine here. Uh, and before I wanna get into this model specifically, I want to tell you about the things that you can find in all TR machines. So whether it's the TR3, the TR5, and the TR7. So how these ones are built is a solid base suspension system that holds up the wash basket. And that wash basket's going to be a true stainless steel, heavy metal stainless steel with a porcelain coated outer barrel, so no plastic. It also has a one horsepower motor from the TR3, TR5, and the TR7. And uh, that's an extremely powerful motor. And that kind of speaks to the wash action that you'll find in these TR and these TR models. So they call it Speed Queen's Perfect Wash. And how it washes is extremely unique um, from any, you know, any other, any other model. So um, you've got a true, you know, traditional agitator and a traditional impeller you know, those are both using mechanical force, whether that's the impeller or the agitator to wash your clothes. This actually uses the force of water. It does have this agitator here, but this agitator actually doesn't rotate by itself. It rotates in tandem with the wash barrel. So what it'll do is it'll go, it'll rotate the barrel with the agitator. And the agitator in here, is, it's got some fins it pushes water through your clothes. And then as it rotates backwards, creates momentum to drive water through your clothes the other way. So the way you can think of it is like holding, holding a t-shirt up into a crashing wave pretty much. So it uses the natural momentum of water to wash your clothes. And that's a truly unique wash action that only Speed Queen um, uses on the market. Um, another cool thing about the, the Speed Queen is that if you have something that's super heavily soiled, you might like is that if you cancel out any cycle, uh, it's not going to drain the water out. Now, what that allows you to do on the Speed Queen is fill your tub up with water, soak it for as long as you want, soak you know, your heavily soiled garment for as long as you want, and uh, yeah, it helps kind of loosen your soils. If you know, you're a construction worker or farmer, that might be something that is a, is a cool feature for you. Another cool thing is their autofill uh, setting that's kind of unlike any other autofills. So not only is it gonna you know, sense the weight of your clothes and fill accordingly, 
but it's gonna also determine the type of garments that are in there and the size of the garments. And it's gonna adjust the water throughout the cycle. That's a pretty unique autofill uh, in all the TR7 or the TR models. So the TR3, TR5, TR7. But yeah, so let's get into the TR3. Uh, that's some you know information about all the TR models. So let's get into the TR3 specifically. So this is the TR3 machine, and this is Speed Queen's basic entry-level uh, unit, but it still comes with a three-year all parts and labor warranty. Uh, now that's gonna cover everything for three years compared to most other units, um, competing units, which are just one year. Um, this has four different cycles on it. Uh, it's got normal eco cycle that uses the least amount of water, uh, your delicates, your permanent press, and then it's got a heavy duty cycle as well. It also, if you have something that's uh, very dirty, it does have a heavy soil option, and that's gonna push your cycle to 45 minutes compared to, you know, if you're just doing like a normal eco cycle uh, with a small or auto fill, you'd be looking at 35 minutes a cycle, which is still very short. Um, your load size, you've got the small fill, the large fill, and the auto fill. And you also got auto fill extra rinse if you're doing fabric softener or something like that, just to you know give an extra rinse to wash that stuff out of your clothes. Um, you've got three different wash temps, so that's hot, warm, and cold. So, you know, that's the TR3 um, basic features, uh, but you know, solid features, anything that you would need. And then, yeah, let's move on to the TR5. So this is the TR5 model. Uh, very similar looking to the TR3, uh, just a step above. It's their middle tier uh, product. Um, you've got five years all parts and labor warranty, and you also have two more cycles. You got a spin only and a hand wash cycle for something that's very, you know, very delicate garment, almost like a lace or like, you know, athletic wear or something like that. Um, you do have that cycle on this. Uh, you also have one more wash temp, which is a cool wash temp. Uh, it's 25% hot. Uh, just gives you some more customization. Uh, you do still get the heavy soil uh, option on here if you have something that's very, uh, very dirty. Um, but other than that, that's really it for the TR5. Uh, just a couple more features and the two years uh, extra warranty is the biggest, uh, biggest difference. Um, so yeah, let's go on to the, uh, the TR7. So this is the TR7. This is the ultimate uh, TR model. Uh, it's got a seven year all parts and labor warranty. So two more additional years than the uh, TR5 model. It also has a ton more features. Uh, and a lot more different cycle options. Um, so right here, you'll have this special cycles option uh, and that's nine or eight different cycles. Uh, so athletic, wool, denim, uh, white, waterproof, uh, and a couple more eco cycles uh, to wash clothes in. So entirely customizable. And what's really cool about this one too is you can choose any different setting here, any different you know, temperature, uh, load size, soil level, and they have this speed cycle option, so you can speed up any cycle. Now, your cycles are really gonna range from, uh, I think in the shortest amount, 35 minutes to about 75 minutes. So, really extremely fast cycles when you're talking about uh, the entire different customization you can do. Um, you know, you're doing a max soil level cycle here for less than an hour. So that's pretty unheard of uh, for any other, you know, com competing top load really. Um, and what's also great about this unit too, it's got the perfect wash. It's got the quiet, uh, you know, quiet wash too at 43 decibels. Really, as you're jumping from the TR5 to the TR7, you get two more years additional warranty, tons of different cycle options. Um, one more quick th thing too, it's a delay start. So this is the only TR7, TR model 
with a delay start option. So it does hour increments up to 24 hours of delay now. Um, so theoretically, uh, I could delay my wash cycle till tomorrow at about 1 p.m., which is you know 24 hours from now. So if you wanted to do that, you could. A lot of different customization in this one, lots of different features. The most expensive, most features, best warranty, TR7 model right here. Now we're gonna go to the classic uh, TC5 model and we'll tell you the difference uh, between the TC model versus the TR models. So the last of these Speed Queen washers is gonna be the TC5, the classic series washer and uh, kind of the standalone product that offers a true agitator uh, in the unit. So we get a lot of people that come in and they're like, oh, I want a true agitator like they, like they built in the good old days that is proven reliable, fills all the way to the top of the tub, doesn't have a lid lock, uh, and that's this unit, the TC5. So it's got a true agitator and that's how it's gonna wash your clothes. Uh, it does 210 degree rotations at 68 rotations per minute. So instead of the TR model that uses the perfect wash system that drives water through your clothes using the momentum of water itself, this is gonna push the water, push, push clothes around together to create friction to wash. Uh, and it does that by this mechanical agitator. Um, so it's that tried and true, reliable uh, wash action. Um, how this is built compared to the TR models is both have a solid base suspension system that holds up the wash barrel. This has a half horsepower motor compared to a full horsepower in the TR models. Uh, but this also has a full metal transmission and gear system. Um, and the warranties on this product are a little, little different uh, compared to the TR as well. So not only does this have a full five year all parts and labor warranty on the entire unit, it's got a 15 year warranty on the transmission and a lifetime warranty on the wash barrel and the outer wash basket, which I don't know of another residential laundry machine that has a lifetime warranty on anything. So that is pretty uh, unheard of. Um, it does not have a lid lock, so at any point you can open your open the washer and throw some more clothes in if you'd like. Um, and then the fill option, the fill options are a little different on this TC5 compared to the TR models as well. So the default setting on this is a 75% fill of the wash barrel. It does not have an auto fill. Now it does have a deep fill setting, so if you want to put that on, it's going to fill the barrel. 100% to the top. So as far as usable capacity for this machine, it's 100% usable capacity. I mean, there's not an inch of this barrel that if you want it to, won't get covered uh, with water. Um, as far as the cycles, you get a bulky sheet cycle, heavy duty cycle, permanent press, a spin cycle, and a delicate, and then as well as the normal eco cycle. Um, that's not a whole lot different uh, than what you would find in the TR5. Um, it's a few more options than the TR3. And then the options for uh, extra rinse, extra rinse pre-soak, and then a heavy soil cycle, that gives you a little bit more options. So um, it does give you a pre-soak. So if you have something that's really soiled, you wanna get that out of there, pre-soak option would be great for you, as well as the heavy soil. Um, and then the wash temps, you've got cold, cool, warm, and hot. Because this uses the true agitation, uh, mechanical agitator, this is gonna be a little bit noisier than the TR models. Um, it's not gonna be nearly as quiet, um, but it is gonna be a little bit faster as far as cycle time. So this averages 32 minutes a cycle. That's pretty close to like an old school washer, uh, what an old school washer would do. And then the TRs are gonna be a little bit, you know, depending on what you put your soil level at, it's gonna be a little bit longer than that um, on the TR models. So, but, you know, really in conclusion, if you're looking for that true agitator model, uh, that tried and true, reliable, um, proven way to wash clothes, 
uh, this is that uh, this is that model now it's not gonna be nearly as gentle on your clothes not gonna be as quiet but um, if uh, if let's say you work in construction you're a farmer you get dirty quite a bit this would probably be the good model for you um, compared to the TR models um, that are supposed to be a little bit gentler on your clothes um, so now that we've gone through all of the Speed Queen Top Load products, I just want to address some common questions that we get about Speed Queen and uh, you know, maybe help you uh, on your shopping journey uh, for laundry products. So one of the first things you'll notice about a Speed Queen compared to other brands uh, when you're shopping for, for laundry products is going to be the price tag, of course. Um, and Speed Queens are quite pricey when it comes to you know, other brands. And there's a couple different reasons for that. Um, most notably, the warranty. I mean, you're getting you know, from the TR7, you're getting a seven year warranty, TR5, five year, and then TR3, a three year. Those are great warranties. And then with the TC5, you're getting five years on everything, 15 on the transmission and then lifetime on the wash barrel and the wash basket. So compare those to, you know, most other brands um, like Samsung or LG, those warranties blow these out of the water, blow those out of the water. And um, that, you know, leads into that price tag. Um, and then not only with the warranty, they're just designed to do more loads of laundry. So each is designed to do 10,400 loads of laundry the average consumer does about eight loads of laundry per week and uh, span that over a period of time that's about 25 years worth of laundry so I think when you buy a speed clean you can expect to get the distance out of uh, out of your washer compared to compared to some other brands and that is translated through the price tag So another common question that we get uh, when someone's shopping for a Speed Queen, comparing them to other brands, is the size of the wash, wash barrel. So if you look at a Speed Queen, whether it's a TC5 or the TR models, you're looking at 3.4 cubic feet of space in that wash barrel. And there's other brands out there, most other, most other products on the market right now, you're looking at 4.5 cubic feet of space in the wash barrel and then some even up to 5.2, 5.3 for top loads. Um, and now the question they ask is, can I do as much laundry in a Speed Queen? And the, the answer to that is yes, you can. So how Speed Queens work is that you will, you know, if you use a deep fill setting on the Speed Queen or a large load size, or, you know, fill it to the brim and hit the auto fill, it's gonna fill to the very top of this barrel. Um, you know, that's, and that's something that most other washers don't do anymore due to high efficiency and conservation regulations. So if you have like a five cubic foot wash barrel, it's not gonna fill, it's gonna fill 60 to 70% high um, and not fill all the way to the top. While this one, because it is a smaller barrel, it will. So as far as usable capacity, the Speed Queen has a very good usable capacity. So you can feel confident that the clothes that you put in this, all of them are gonna get the same solid, good clean. Whereas on the on say the five cubic foot uh, washer, you put you fill that to the brim, it's only gonna fill 60 to 70% of the way with water, might not get the best clean. It's like it's like uh, buying a bag of potato chips with air in it, really. Um, so as far as usable capacity, speed queens are great, but then also another way to look at it is the cycle times. So with this classic, you're getting 32 minutes a cycle on average with the TR models, you're doing 35 to 45. If you're doing very heavy soiling, it's going to be higher than that, but probably around an hour. Now, if you're doing that same heavy soiling on other brands out there, four and a half to five and a half cubic foot, you're looking at hour and a half to two hours uh, worth of worth of wash time. And you know, you could do two loads of laundry, even three, 
and this TC5 that you could in a heavy soil um, cycle on a on a higher wa on a bigger wash drum. So you can really do more laundry um, with more usable capacity in this Speed Queen that you can for some other competing washers. So uh, in short, yes, you can still do. Um, even though this has a smaller barrel, you can still do as much laundry. So that concludes our look at Speed Queen top loading laundry products. Uh, we went through the features of the TR3, the TR5, the TR7, and the TC5. And um, I hope this helps you on your, uh, on your consumer journey uh, for buying a new uh, washer or dryer or both. Um, I know it's tough to out there to you know, you see all these different brands, all these different features now in laundry, and uh, hope this kind of helps you at least um, with the Speed Queen brand. So, if you are interested in looking at Speed Queen, they are only in independent retailers across the nation. It's a great American product, great American brand, and um, you know, it's tried and true and built to last. So. Uh, Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment below and I'll be happy to answer anything for you. Um, once again, yeah, my name is Drew and I'm happy to help you out. And yeah, let us know how you liked the video. Uh, comment below, like us, subscribe. We'll be doing some more videos in the future.